Welcome YTPC, Edwin here from Central Texas. I kept you waiting there, I kept you waiting. Hey, that's the trick, guys, that's the trick. And it seems to me, I need to go back and check, but it seems to me that Monday is becoming my Roma 311 pipe. So I'm enjoying my Roma 311. One of my favorite designs. I just find it, I don't know, those lines, sexy. That's the right, you know, that's what I find it, sexy from the pipes. This very nice lines on it. And on it, I'm smoking Escudo Navy Deluxe Rolls that I was smoking yesterday on my yesterday video. Comes in this beautiful rolls that I should have brought it so I can show you because I want, I'm going to chat a little bit about it. And with it, having some black coffee today. Okay, and this is one of those cups I got in the holidays. So I went with my family to San Antonio, Alamo City. And they know I love mugs, so they, they got me one. So hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. Thank you, thank you, love it. Huge mug, by the way, you know, huge, huge cup. And I got a question, because again, remember guys, I'm new to this, okay? But Escudo is known as a vapor, or categorized as a vapor. What that means is that it has Virginias and Perique, okay? And you know, I probably have five or six bowls of Sescudo. And one of the things that I've been struggling a little bit is that I don't know what role the Perique is bringing to this blend. Because for me, it's like a good quality Virginia blend, you know? I feel those hay, that hay, that earthiness. I get that, sometimes that, how you call it, you know, tanginess or citrus, citrus, right? Of the Virginia, and the tin note is the same. I can smell that hay, that earthiness. Great quality Virginias from my experience, my short experience in this hobby. And maybe sometimes a little bit, a little bit of spiciness on the retro hell, okay? But almost, almost nothing, you know? So here I am, you know, I'm like six, six balls deep, right? I have, you know, I started months ago. I started smoking Scudo and I'm trying to figure out this Perique and I, I haven't looked at videos of it because I want to, you know, come up with my own um, description. All I know is that it's a paper. I'm here I am struggling, struggling with the flavor profile of Perique. I have no idea what to expect. Again, I enjoy it, but for me, it's kind of a Virginia blend. So what do you get? What do you get with Perique? So I can, so you know, just so I know. <laughs> and of course, in my future, if I get all the vapors, I imagine they will have a stronger presence of Perique, you know, all those percentage, percentage changes and all that. So it's all good. It's all good. I'm just exploring and enjoying this, this ride. Okay. But with a scooter, it's been one that I've been like, man, it's a great smoke. I love how easy it packs. In this, this case, I rub it instead of just putting the, the, instead of just folding those rolls, you know, and this time I rub it perfect as well so if you if you are more comfortable doing that it will work great as well 
Well, my only struggle is with the Perique. I don't know what to expect or what flavor I should get from it because I don't get any other than beautiful, sweet, hay, earthy Virginias that I love. <laughs> so yeah, let me know what you get from it. Uh, of course, you know, I imagine in six months from now, I'll be like, Edwin, come on, man. Come on. This is what you need to, you know, this is what you get from Perik and all that. It's just my noob rookie palette right now. Hmm. It's a beautiful smoke. Once it's light on, I have no issues. I don't need to relight it or it's been pretty consistent for me. And yeah, guys, like always, I enjoy watching your videos. I always wish you guys have a great day out there, okay? Stay warm if it's snowing and freezing out there. I think in a few days it will be freezing here. And, you know, I wish you guys have a happy smoke out there, okay? I'll see you in the next video. Edwin out. See you guys.